Today we're going to replace the screen on the DV6000 series laptop. This one is a DV6408NR. You first you will remove the battery, then you will remove the plastic covers that are around the bezel. There is two on the bottom and four on top. After you have done that, you will remove the screws that are under the plastic covers. There is two on the bottom and four on top. After doing that, you will remove the plastic bezel that is around the screen. Be very careful and gentle because this is, it is very fragile. After doing that, you will put it to the side and then remove the screws on the corner on the bottom corner of the harness. Keep track of where you put the screws because you can get very confused as to where they go when you put it back together. After that, you will remove the screws on the side of the harness. There is two on each side, one on top, one on bottom. Keep holding the screen so that it doesn't fall because the harness is what holds the screen in place. After doing that, remove the screen from the harness and lay it down on the keyboard. Remove the video cable, which is the bigger cable on, on the back of the screen and then remove the power cable from the inverter. It is sometimes a baby blue or a pink color. The factory screen sometimes has some kind of harness itself but you don't have to re remove that or anything you can just leave it with a screen. As shown in this video You will then get your your new screen, place it back into the harness, and connect the video cable on the back of the screen and connect the power cable back to the inverter. And then put the screens back on on each side, one on bottom, one on top on each side. At this point, you can connect the laptop to the charger and turn it on so you could test it. This screen previously had a cracked screen, but with this one that we got from laptopscreens.com, it is now working perfectly. You can see that it now works. You can disconnect, you can turn it off and disconnect the charger so you can assemble it back on. Put the back of the screen, the plastic cover, put it back on the back of the uh, screen and, and screw it back on from each corner at the bottom.
After that, you will put on back the plastic bezel. Make sure it's securely put on. Make, there's going to be a little bit of cracking noises around the screen when, when you're putting your fingers around it. You will then put the screws back on, on four on top and two on the bottom. And don't forget to put the screws, the, the plastic covers back on top of the screws. Your new screen should now be working. Thanks for watching.